Right now, breaking developments in the shooting death of a nine-year-old girl. Nine-year-old girl on Cleveland's east side. A young girl was an innocent bystander, and now police are looking for some people of interest. News 5's Mona Kozarabdi is live in Cleveland now with what she's learned overnight. And Mona, who are police looking for in this shooting? Nick, Katie, it is the latest lead to come out of this tragic case. Police pinpointing two men they say are persons of interest in this crime that has left a nine-year-old dead and her family devastated. So I want you to pause for a moment and take a good look at your screen. These are surveillance pictures that were taken on Lee Road and Cloverside yesterday evening. That is just one block away from where the shooting happened. One man picture there, you see him in a black Nike hoodie and white shorts the other in a blue zip up. Police also added one extra photo. This of what appears to be a dark colored Chevy sedan. These images police say were captured close to the time of the shooting around 715 yesterday. Witnesses say they heard a spray of gunfire. Dozens of shots fired from what sounded like a semi automatic weapon at the very same time in the parking lot of the DNA level boxing club was that nine year old girl sitting in a car waiting with her older sister while their mother went inside to pick their brother up. One of those bullets police say struck the little girl for in her forehead. Moments later, a man who says he's the father of that little girl showed up to the scene approaching our cameras in utter disbelief. You can hear the raw pain in his voice. It is just heartbreaking to hear his voice and police have not said if that older daughter that was also in the car was injured, but we will stay on top of that and find out what her condition is as well. But for now, again, they have pinpointed those two men that you saw in the surveillance pictures. So if you have any idea who they might be, you're urged to contact Cleveland police in, in Cleveland, Monaco Saramdi, News 5.